Mastering English Grammar, Articles and Determiners, Numbers and Ordinals as Determiners. Welcome to another exciting episode of Mastering English Grammar. In today's video, we will delve into an important topic within the realm of articles and determiners, numbers and ordinals as determiners. This section will help you understand the common mistakes learners make and the exceptions to watch out for. So, let's jump right in. When we use numbers as determiners, they come before nouns to indicate quantity or order. It's important to note that there are two main scenarios to consider. Countable nouns. When using numbers with countable nouns, we use the singular form of the noun. One car, two cats, three books. Remember, for countable nouns, the singular form is used with numbers as determiners, regardless of the actual quantity. Uncountable nouns. When dealing with uncountable nouns, we use the singular form with numbers as determiners. One bottle of water, two cups of coffee, three pieces of advice. Even though the noun might refer to an uncountable substance, we still use the singular form when using numbers as determiners. Ordinals refer to the order or position of something. They are used to indicate sequence or rank. Let's take a look at how they function as determiners. Before nouns. Ordinals can be used as determiners before nouns to indicate order or position. The first day of school. The second chapter of the book. The third time this week. In these examples, the ordinals, first, second, and third, modify the nouns and help us understand the specific order or position. After nouns, in some cases, ordinals can be used after the noun, functioning as adjectives rather than determiners. The day before yesterday, the room on the second floor, the chapter following the introduction. Here, the ordinals, before yesterday, second, and following, are placed after the nouns, modifying them to provide additional information. Let's now address some common mistakes and exceptions when using numbers and ordinals as determiners. Exception, a hundred, versus, one hundred. We often use, a hundred, to express an approximate quantity, whereas, one hundred, is used when we want to be specific. A hundred people attended the event. Approximate, one hundred pages were missing from the report. Specific. Exception, first, versus, first of all. First, is an ordinal used to indicate the initial position, but we also have the phrase, first of all, which is used to introduce the first in a series of points. I visited the first museum in the morning. First of all, let's discuss the main idea. Remember the difference between using, first, as an ordinal and using, first of all to introduce a sequence of points. Congratulations! You've reached the end of our lesson on numbers and ordinals as determiners. By understanding how to use numbers and ordinals correctly, you'll enhance your English language skills and avoid common mistakes. Keep practicing and applying these concepts in your conversations and writing. Stay tuned for more exciting grammar topics in our Mastering English Grammar series. Happy learning!